Hello everyone, uh, in this video uh, we will talk about naming alcohol but this one would be a little bit harder example than, than the one that we did uh, in the last video. So let's say uh, this example right here, uh, how shall we name this? So we follow the similar pattern so we have to write your substituent first and then we gotta write down parent chains. Okay, so this one is gonna be tricky. So pause the video here and take a moment and tell me what is the parent chain that is that has uh, the OH functional group. So you wanna make sure your functional group OH is connected to the chain. So which means the OH, which carbon atom is connected to, it is connected to the carbon atom right here. So this carbon atom must be a part of the chain that you are thinking is the parent chains. Like a lot of the time people will say, uh, you know what, this is one, two, three, four, five carbon atom. This seems the longest one. And I'm gonna say my parent chain has five carbon atom, but this is wrong because this parent chain does not have OH group connected to it. It is one carbon atom away, it's not part of the chains. So you cannot put that five. So instead, what you'll be doing is you're gonna start from here. So this is one chain. This is the first atom that is connected to the OH. So now you're gonna start counting from here. So if I go from here, two, three, four. On this side, I'm getting four carbon atom on the right side. If I go left, one, two, three and four. So either side, I'm getting four carbon atoms. So it doesn't matter which side I pick. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier. So it doesn't matter which side I pick. I am gonna go this direction. It doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, now your goal is to number them. Okay, so how would you number them? I could number them one, two, three, four. The other way would be I would number one, two, three, four. If I go this route, my OH group is connected to the fourth carbon atom, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, so we gotta pick the lower number, right? So I'm gonna number them like this. One, two, three, four. So our parent chain has how many carbon atom we, we said? It has four carbon atom. And what is the alkane name if you have four carbon atom? That's gonna be butane. And then the final E is gonna be replaced by all butanol. So this is the parent name. And what is the location of the parent name? Uh, so what is the location of functional group? Well, it's gonna be butanol. Okay, uh, one thing I did not mention in my previous video was we could have uh, call all these instead of writing but one butanol, or we could have called butan one all. So this is also correct. So this is also correct. Uh, here I could have called butan two all as well. This is also correct. So in this case, I can call it butanol one butanol or butan one all. So that's your, uh, parent name. So I'm going to highlight this. We're going to save this for the future. Now, what is the substituent? So we got to pay attention to the substituent. So in this case, I'm going to highlight the substituent as blue. So here we got one, two. So the, these two carbon atoms are connected with our main highway. This is our parent highway. So these two are connected right here. So in this case, substituent has two carbon atom. And what do we call it when we have two carbon atom? The chain name is ethane. And when you have substituents, the A-N-E is replaced by YL, okay? So uh, we're gonna call it ethyl. All right, so that's our ethyl group right there. 
So A and E is replaced by YL. So if you have a substituent that has, um, let's say five carbon atoms. So if you have a five carbon atom substituents, so you're gonna start with pentane, and then you're gonna go from pentane to pentyl. Uh, so uh, it's gonna be our pentyl, hexyl, butyl, propyl, uh, methyl, and so on, all right? So let's delete this one. So our substituent is ethyl butanol. Uh, now let's combine them together. So this is our final name. So you bring that to here. So it is ethyl one butanol. This is not yet correct. So when you name them, you make them as one word. So it's ethyl dash one dash butanol. Okay, so one thing I'm missing here is where exactly is my ethyl group? So my ethyl group is connected to the carbon atom two. So this whole group in the blue here is connected to my second carbon atom. So I am gonna call this locations two. So that's our final name. So usually uh, all you just capitalize the first one and everything else in the smaller case because it's one word. So two ethyl one butanol. So that is going to be your final answers. All right, so that's our final answer. Let's make this example a little bit more complicated. So what if, so there is another example. So what if you got something like this? And maybe I'll add uh, something here. So let's not go into uh, writing the name for asymmetric centers. Uh, that will be a little bit for the future videos, uh, but let's keep it simple. So uh, there is an asymmetric center right here. So it'll, you have to assign R and S nomenclatures, but let's skip that part for now. Uh, let's write a simple name for this once. Okay, first thing. So we will follow the patterns, substituent plus parent. All right, so let's find out the parent chains. So remember, the parent chain must be connected directly to the OH. So in this case, it must include this carbon atom. Okay, so which means this chain could be a parent chain. This means this chain could also be a parent chain. So which one do you think it is? One, two, three, four, five, six two, three, four, five, six. So both of them are same, so we got lucky here. So uh, let's say, so in this case, our parent chain is, let's go left, right to left, why not, right? So this is our parent chain. So how many carbon atom it has? Six carbon atom. Six carbon atom means hexane. Oh no, why there's dotted lines, okay. That's fine. So hexane, then E would be replaced by hexanol. So that's our parent name. And then what is the locations? Let's call, let's give the number and you wanna give the smallest possible number, right? So if I go one, two, three, four, five, my OH is connected to five carbon atom, fifth carbon atom, so this is wrong. We want the smaller number, so I'm gonna other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this number is the one that gives me smaller number. If I would have gone other way, then this would have been five, which is not correct. So this one, two hexanol, because the location number is Two. So we have finalized our parent names. So that's our two hexanols. So let's look at the substituents. So this time we are dealing with a little bit trickier situations. Uh, well, actually now the substituent is gonna be easier. So let's say uh, I am gonna add another substituent here. 
to make it slightly more complicated. Let's say I'm going to add another substituent here so it'll be more fun. Okay, so now we have two substituents. Let's color code this here. So we have a substituent where we got two carbon atoms there at the location four and another carbon atom here. So we got two, so we got two substituent, one carbon atom, two carbon atom. What is the alkane name for one carbon atom? Methane. If you, then the substituent version of the name would be, the A and E would be replaced by eel, so methyl. Two carbon atom is ethane. So it's gonna be ethyl. So we have written down the substituents. Now what, where exactly their locations are? So ethyl group is on the location four. So we have finalized that. And methyl group is at the location five. So we have finalized that. And uh, next thing, we're just gonna combine all of them into one word. So we're just gonna combine all of these into one word. So here is uh, one thing that you wanna uh, pay attention is organize the substituent. No, just the substituent, okay, pay attention. Organize the substituents alphabetically. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, our E comes before M. So I'm gonna write four ethyl, five methyl, two hexanol. And that is gonna be our answers. Okay, uh, that's all I had to say.